School gives you lesson before they give you test. Life gives you test for you to have lesson. The necessity of divine fire. From what we study, the Bible says, according to John the Baptist, in Matthew chapter 3, verse 11, and he said that I indeed baptize with water, but he that will come, whom I am not worthy to remove his shoe, we baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. I want to tell you something. In this kingdom, some people are baptized unto repentance with water. Under the option of John the Baptist. And they are still like that in this kingdom. They refuse to grow from that level. They were baptized unto repentance because people preach repentance to them. They accept Christ and they come to become a member of this kingdom. And they refuse to exceed that level. And some... Have exceeded that level, they are now baptized with the Holy Ghost, and that is the level they are operating right now. Why there are few of people in this kingdom who have worked on theirself, who have prayed for their personal encounter, who have been baptized with fire. As I talk to you, those ones are the ones doing exploits. They don't run up and they don't go to any place, they don't look for pastor. They are not looking for anybody to see vision for them. For because whatever thing that comes around them will be handled by the fire that is in them. Divine fire is very necessary. I come to tell somebody, if you are here, believe it or not, to be baptized with fire is very, very essential. For when fire is operating in you, even things that you need to go to a man or God to deliver you from will be consumed with the fire that is inside you. Even things that is around you that you don't know how to handle will be handled by the fire that is inside you. That very fire will make you to look like God over people. It is the fire that Moses have encountered with that made him God over Pharaoh. There are many people who, see, who believe in impartation? You are correct. Impartation is real. We do that in this ministry. But that impartation is not enough. Let me tell you something. Holy Ghost can be imparted into you. But fire can never be imparted into you. Fire is a baptism that comes to you according to the preparation of your heart. There is something that God looks for in the heart of a man before baptism of fire. That is what we call an archizo. When there is an archizo in a man, it will not take time. There will be baptism of fire. An archizo means drive. When it is being found, there will be baptism of fire. There is something I want to tell you. People will might tell you, or you might have heard, that once you receive Holy Ghost, you start to burn fire. No. No, I've come to prove it to you. If you read what we just study, he said, He that we come that is mightier than bad John the Baptist, we baptize you with the Holy Ghost and and with fire. It means the fire is separated from the Holy Ghost. So many people are baptized with the Holy Ghost, but not with fire. And many people in this kingdom also are baptized into repentance. And that is the level they are operating to today. If you find them in the church, they will keep on committing sin. They will keep on going back to their vomit. They keep on praying for mercy. They don't exceed for mercy. 
Any prayer point you give in the church, they will hear them crying for mercy because they are baptized into repentance. They refuse to stand so that they can receive Holy Spirit. And some of them who have received Holy Ghost baptism have refused to pray, to prepare. To, there is no drive in them. They refuse to build their mind to have a personal encounter with God so that the fire can rest upon their heads. Now, let me give you an instance of what I'm talking about. The Word of God said... There are this group of people who are called disciples of Jesus Christ. They were with Jesus Christ according to the Bible. The Jesus Christ we know even washed their feet. Jesus Christ that is mightier than John the Baptist washed their feet. After washing their feet, the same Jesus Christ gave them power to trample upon scorpion and serpent and upon every power of the enemy. But they were not baptized with fire. They could not operate after the death of Jesus Christ. They were in one accord and they locked themselves up. So he asked Apostle chapter 2 from verse 1 to 4. And Holy Ghost came to baptize them. They already have, they already have Holy Ghost. What they were baptized with that moment was with fire. That was why the cloth of fire was found in their head. And they start to do exploit. And things start to happen to a certain stage. For according to us Apostle, that even the Peter was able to declare somebody dead and the person fall down and die because he's operating under the baptism of fire, not just under the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Impartation is not enough. I pity some young men who travel far and wide, so seed to receive impartation from a prophet, to receive impartation for some people. I tell you, impartation is good. Anybody can impart his gift inside you, but they cannot impart your personal encounter with God into you. When you have an encounter with men, they impart the gift they run to you until you prepare your mind. Until an akaizu is found in your heart that he is a driving force that will push you to pray above your limit where you will not have personal encounter with your God and there will be baptism of fire until then you cannot do more than what you have been doing you see that happened this morning is a product of baptism of fire. Not product of Holy Holy Spirit or baptism unto repentance. Impartation is good but it's not enough. Because whatever I impart into you I have also imparted on into other people. <laughs> but with your personal encounter your baptism of fire is your own. Is your own. Ah, in according to us, Apostle chapter 19, verse 1 to 6, the word of God said that Apostle Paul was going on and he made disciples with Apollos and he talked to them about Holy Ghost. And they said to him, Since we were baptized unto repentance of John the Baptist, we have not heard about Holy Spirit. And he said, Okay, he ministered to them and he imparted to them by laying hand. And the Bible said they receive Holy Ghost, they speak in tongue and they prophesy. And after that, they could not manifest anything, they could not exceed above that level because they receive impartation of the Holy Ghost, not fire. Fire cannot be imparted. Holy Ghost can be imparted. The fire is a personal business. So those people that Apostle Paul imparted into receive Holy Ghost because they have the, according to the statement, they, they say they have been baptized into repentance of the John the Baptist. They don't know about Holy Ghost. But he imparted into Holy Ghost into them. And they could not exceed more than that. After that moment, there was no record about them. That there is something they do. They couldn't do exploits. Because they didn't go for their personal encounter to receive fire. There are two persons who have this baptism of fire. Before Jesus, who is mightier than John the Baptist, came in. Number one is Moses. 
when he has an encounter with fire, burning bush, he received baptism of fire to do exploit that even the magicians of Egypt were not able to defeat him. That even Pharaoh submit to him. And the second person was Elijah. Elijah received the baptism of fire through his personal fasting and prayer in the wilderness. And he knew that he is possessed by fire. And when it was a time to compare himself and his God with other gods, he called the God of himself, of Elijah. And that God answered him by fire because the fire in him is the one that attracted the fire from heaven. And the fire came and consumed everything that was on the ground. And he and his God defeated the prophet of Baal and the Baal that is their power. And he slayed them to death. That was why when Jesus went to the mountain of transfiguration, it was only Moses and Elijah that appeared to him. Because these two people are the only people who were baptized with fire in the Old Testament. Elijah imparted into Elisha but not the fire that he carried he gave him double portion of his anointing he didn't give many portion of his fire Moses imparted into Joshua and Caleb strength and anointing for victory but he did not impart the fire he carries into them because it cannot be imparted it's a personal word a counter Baptism of fire is very necessary in this very kingdom. Too essential to overlook. According to as our apostle, the word of God said that there is a man who was baptized with fire. A man who terrorized the Christians. His name was Saul. When he had his own personal encounter with Jesus, he was baptized with the Holy Ghost. He became blind. That God had to send another apostle to heal him. And he eyes opens. And when God was sending the apostle, he said, go to him for he's already praying. It means he had been preparing himself to receive an encounter. And the apostle came and imparted to him Holy Ghost. And he eyes opened to see. And he started to pray and work on himself. And he now has his own personal encounter and the baptism of fire upon him. In chapter 28, as about chapter 28 verse 1 to 6, the Bible said that he was in a, in a ship that rocked and so there are many Barbados and they came to him to assist them. Not little and little of firewood and he put it together to kindle fire and as he was there, the Bible said, a viper from the wood came out and fish on his hand. Uh, it means a serpent clipped to his hand and beat him in his hand. And the Bible said the Barbados were watching him because they know the venom of that viper. Once he clip onto you in a tinkle of eye, you will swell up and die. And the Bible said they watch him to swell up and die. And they were looking at him in a while so that he will swell up. And the Bible said in a tinkle of eye, the viper dried up and he shook it off from his hand. And at that moment, the people there, the Bible said they changed their mind. It was the fire that was inside him that could not allow the viper's venom to penetrate into his blood. Rather, the fire in him was able to, from his blood, penetrate to the viper and drive the viper to death. Everybody in this kingdom are not the same. Some are still operating under the baptism of repentance of John the Baptist. And they refuse to grow more than that. And so, are still operating under the baptism of the Holy Ghost. In which they can speak in tongues. They can even prophesy. But devil don't fear them. Because there is no fire that is found in them. But those who are baptized into repentance. Who receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Who also go for personal encounter with the fire. And who are baptized with fire. As I talk to you, they are burning. They are burning flame. Who prove to the earth that the God we serve is a consuming fire. Anytime you meet them, they also so speak in tongues. They run a gift of the Holy Spirit. At the same time, they display the devil. As at the same time, when you touch them, the God that is inside them will use you to do experiment in hospital. And it will be taken. It will be extended to mortuary. And it must be finalized in cemetery. Those men are the men I am talking about. They are the men who are baptized with the fire. That is kind I want to tell you. 
This fire that I'm talking about is taking us voltage by voltage. We're talking about voltage is a electromotive force that produces current. In this baptism of fire, when you go into physics and talk about voltage, we have what is called low voltage. We have what is called high voltage. We have what is called extra high voltage. And finally, we have what is called ultra high voltage. So there are people who have been baptized with this fire. They are still operating under low voltage. I will tell you why. It's according to the level of their prayer. There are people who pray when there is a challenge or someone that has challenge come to you. That is when you pray. There are people who pray time without season. Not season S-E-A-S-O-N. No. Not season of winter and summertime. No. Season without stopping. They pray without stopping. No prayer point, but they pray. Continuously they pray. I pray without prayer point. I'm not asking God for anything. There is a song that is a prayer that I learned when I was coming up as a minister. Holy Ghost, make me fire. Holy Ghost, make me fire. Holy Ghost, make me fire. Holy Ghost. And continuously I can sing that song for continuously six hours. That is my prayer point. For six hours. And now people, according to the level of your prayer, they are now in low voltage. Those people can be a pastor, and when enemy come, even the people they pray for can use that to practice witchcraft, can use that to practice marine, and go free. There are people who are prayed to a level, who have the basin of fire, they are in the level of high voltage. When you touch their life, you will be shocked, and you will recover from that shock. But there are people who are on extra high voltage that when you try to use them to practice your power, you will be shocked and the current will throw you away. There are some people like that. When they use their pastor to test their power, they will be shocked and they will run away from the church. Because the current have thrown them away. There are people on this level that we are praying for God to keep me on that level. Ultra high voltage. It's a voltage that even when it is supplied to current of your house, as I speak to you, even your fridge is going to burn. And that high voltage, that ultra high voltage, when you touch me, you will die. That was the voltage that Apostle Peter was operating. That was the voltage that made him to say to Ananias and Sapphira, See you now. You have lied to God. You are falling down now. And you are giving up your coast. And immediately he fell down. Uh, that he didn't touch him. As the wife came again, he said, Look, why have you decided to lie to God? And it was him that he's talking to. And he said, Look now, the step of people going to bury your husband. They are coming to carry you. You are going to die. And they might give up her coast. Uh, that it is operation of a man who has been baptized with fire and is operating under the ultra high voltage of the power of God. People who are baptized with fire, when evil people lay hand on them, those evil people will have problem. I can't tell you. In this very kingdom, don't take it as a joke. Prepare yourself to receive baptism of fire. Because the Bible said in Hebrew 12 29 that the God we serve is a consuming fire. For people to know that we serve a God that is a consuming fire, you will be the burning flame. That is why he said in Hebrew chapter 1, verse 7, that he that maketh his angel spirit also make his ministers flame or fire. Wherever you go, you are supposed to carry the flame. That whenever they see you or they tempt you, that the flame that is coming out of you will make them to know that you are not an ordinary Christian, but a Christian that is baptized with fire. And it was affirmed and confirmed by Psalm 104 verse 4. And he said, he had to make his angel spirit, make it his ministers, make it apostle check, make it apostle charity, flame of fire. It is the burning of the flame that make men to know that the God that I serve is a consuming fire. I cannot stop. I cannot limit myself. To the level of baptism of repentance. I cannot limit myself to the level of baptism of the Holy Ghost alone. I have to walk. You have to walk. You need to pray. You need a personal encounter. You need 
the baptism of fire because you don't know who is your enemy it might be closer to you the only thing that will make them to be afraid of you the only thing that will scare your enemy from you is the cloth of fire that is upon your head prepare for baptism of fire work on yourself work on yourself that you see vision you run prophecy it might be by impartation that I have imparted into you. <laughs> you can. You can preach very well, better than me. Because it is the prayer I pray for my children. That I pray that my children will be better than me on the pulpit. You can even pray better. Your, your remark can be clear better than Apostle Check in Jose. But what I want to teach you, if you are a minister under me, just listen. That a counter with fire is a personal business. You need to pray. You need to walk. You need to pray. You need to open your eyes in the night. If possible, five years. If possible, conclude it one year. Let every night be night vigil. Don't pray for anything. Ask God for a counter with fire. Tell God the God of Moses and God of Elijah. Tell God, I want to be the part of transfiguration. Jesus, I want to be the part of transfiguration. Let your fire come down. I want men to see me whenever they see me. Let them see the cloth of fire upon my head. I want something unusual to happen to me. Many people are speaking in tongues because they have a counter with the Holy Ghost. Many people are speaking in tongues because they were baptized with the Holy Ghost. Many people are prophesying because somebody imparted Holy Ghost into them. Holy Ghost, my helper, I need the baptism of fire. Let it come upon me. Let it enter me. I'm born away my witchcraft. I'm born away my marine. I'm born away my foundation. I'm born away my stupidity. I'm born away my greed. I'm born away my errors. I'm born away my anger. I'm born away my ah. Open your mouth and say something. And I tell you at that moment, if you can do that for one year, you are going to see there is a difference between you and those people who are even speaking in tongues along the road. I want to raise people who we encounter God, who we pray to God, who we catch fire, who will be baptized with fire, that whenever they come to church, even as I'm ministering, something will be happening in their life. You need a drive, a driving force that will force your best out of you. You need something that will wake you up. Our problem, that is why I'm going from churches to churches. Why not change it? I have a problem. That's why I'm not sleeping in the night. I have a problem. That's why I refuse to sleep. I want to handle this problem by myself. For the God has does not share his glory with any man. I want to pray. Let him take his glory from my life. Let no pastor say it if not because of him. That couldn't have been like this. Let me stand and begin to bar. Hey, Ikoragada, <laughs> 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 